welcome back and if this is your first time welcome this is michigan crime time and i am jess uh today is a quick little video in judge simpson's courtroom and it is the, ex the absolute reason why we do not lie to judges especially judge simpson uh to dispense with the disclosures i am not an attorney yada 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 my opinion all persons innocent the blurb is after this little clip anyways um Let's get over to Judge Simpson's courtroom, and I hope you guys enjoy. Case People versus versus Isaac Ellington. Assistant Public Defender Costum Obese on behalf of Isaac Ellington. Mr. Ellington, could you unmute and state your full name, please? Isaac Ellington. Mr. Ellington, did you get a chance to review the uh, PSI that I sent you, your email? Yes, yes. Are there I'm any not... corrections that you want to um, address? Yes, um, a committee pressing. I I've been never doing drugs. My, I had a, I got a friend, high school friend of mine. I've been trying to stop him to sell, stop for him doing drugs. Hold on, hold on. Stop him for doing drugs and taking in drugs from him. And the next couple of days, he passed away. I've been clean. I was dropped yesterday. I've been negative. I've been clean. I just lost a good friend of mine of drugs, and he never woke up, and that's why I got the positive. Cause I could take so you're drugs. saying you didn't do drugs? No, I I didn't do drugs. I didn't do drugs, and and it, I got one positive in April, and and I'm like in another way. I've been so you're saying him. positive for cocaine's aren't you? No, it's no, that's not. I, it's me because I'm taking it from my friend. He passed away now a couple of days ago. You he took it from away. your friend, and then how did it get into your system? It probably because of my because I touched it. It's the difference if you use oh. it. Oh, and I'm taking it from. Oh, him. so you, so you touch the cocaine, and then you tested positive. Yes. Then oh, I was negative. Okay, is that the story? Is that really the story you're gonna go with? Yes, yes. You yes, want to talk yes. to your attorney before you stick with that story? Yes, for real. I've been honest. You no, know, but do you want to talk to your attorney before Mr. that's the story you're giving me? Because this recommendation will change. Mr. Ellington, I, I I would advise you to accept what the recommendation is saying and and ask the court to adopt that recommendation. How about this cocaine now? Because he's telling me that he didn't do it i would, I would no. just ask ask the court to disregard uh mr ellington's previous statement well mr. i can't ellington. disregard it that's like unringing a bell i heard him jump simpson i've been I'm, I'm honest i've been coming to court i've been doing everything i, I, I know i know I'm you're honest there. but not an amoeba you don't you don't absorb things that way so counsel you i don't you normally do this but um you want me to give you a breakout room to talk with him? Yes, please. And then we can talk about how the cocaine got there? Oh, my God. Yes, please. Yeah, please. I know. Okay. <laughs> Joe Simpson, I'm being honest. My, uh, my uh, friend is Sir, sir, Mr. Ellington. sir, I don't doubt that part. I doubt the other part you just told me. Because... And I'm just gonna lay it out there. You got a positive. You had a positive for methamphetamines on March 23rd. March 28th, you're positive. Hold on, you're positive for cocaine. You go away. You do have a negative test in between then. Come back April 3rd, you're positive for, co for cocaine again. So, um, and. He didn't go to the CCOP program. Could so this may change in any event. Sir, I'm just going to ask you, do you want to go into a breakout room and discuss this with your attorney prior to the court proceeding forth with sentencing? Because I'm ready to go, but I don't know that you are. Okay. Okay, Simpson. So why don't we do this? Um, Counselor, do you have... Um, Mr. Williams, who's, is that yours? Yeah, I know, I see you, Mr. Williams. I just want to make sure, Q, do you have Mr. Williams or no? No. 
That's yours? That's mine. Oh, okay. That's, I got you. So let's put um, Kasim and um, the amazing Mr. Ellington into a breakout room and then we can bring them back momentarily. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Court recalls the case. People versus Isaac Ellington. Yes, I'm Assistant Public Defender Costa Mulvesi on behalf of Isaac Ellington. Mr. Ellington, could you unmute, please? State your name again. Isaac Ellington. Once again, uh, Your Honor, we have um, reviewed the PSI, and uh, Mr. Ellington does not have any... He, he would like the court to adopt the recommendation. Mr. Ellington, would you like to go ahead? Yes. Okay, so what about the cocaine? I'll wait. I was just helping my friend out. Uh, I, I did it once or twice. You did what? I did it once or twice, Your Honor. So you actually ingested the cocaine? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. That's a much better story than the first one you gave me. <sighs> Sentence of the court, 12 months probation, $655 fines and court costs, $360 probation, oversight fees. When can you pay that? Uh, I can pay $75 on uh, April 21st before I get paid. You can pay what? $75. On, on next, next week when I get paid. He, he expressed to me uh, that he would like to get on a payment plan if possible. Yes. Order. Yes. Pay seventy five. Well, just a probation payment plan. Just <sighs> there should be no use of alcohol, recreational marijuana, or any illegal substance. You'll be subject to random testing as requested by probation. You are. You know what? No, he's going to continue on his testing. Yeah. Oh, I'll be, I, I'm, I will be clean. I swear on her. Swear well, here's what we're going to do. Number, I, no I, more. You know, I hear you. So I'm going to give you a chance to prove yourself to me. Okay. Ms. Valera, I want him on testing, random testing, in, um, through community corrections for the next 60 days. You're to complete the CCOP program or a comparable program. Now, when you do that testing, I'm just going to let you know, any positives, you might as well just prepare for jail time. That's how I'm going to work this. I don't like people not telling me the truth, and you tried to start out not telling me the truth. Okay, Your Honor. You're to maintain employment with proof to probation. I'll order 365 days in jail, credit two. Um, sir, defendant will serve an additional five days for the bond violations to date, and then the balance will be suspended. You are ordered to report to the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. So I got 360 other reasons why you don't want to use. We clear? Yes. Thank you. Report to the jail by 6 p.m. Or bench warrant will issue with no bond. Your Honor. Okay. What? What do you want to tell me? I was gonna tell you. Um, can I um I do it by I do it Friday? I could tell my job to hold my job and and tell my kids I won't be gone for five days. You know, you know what, Mr. Ellington, I'd be more than I would have been more than happy to do that. But the problem is, you came to me lying to me. I don't know right now whether or not, hold on. I don't know whether or not you're telling me the truth right now. I am telling the truth because I'm at my So job the problem, hold on. Around. The prob problem, Mr. Ellington, is when you start out like that, I can't trust you. I can't trust you that you'll be there Friday. I can't even trust that you're going to be there tonight. 
But I can tell you, if you're not there tonight, what's going to end up happening? I'm going to send somebody out to get you. All right, I'm going to be there private. I promise. 6 p.m. Thank you. Your Honor, I would just I would just like to say that Mr. Ellington has expressed to me how concerned he is about keeping his job. And since him keeping his I, job is, is part of PSI's recommendation, uh, I mean, if we could just get a day possibly or two and then have him report maybe by 6 p.m. tomorrow before the warrant goes out. Just just to give him a small cushion to 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 get his job straightened out. No, not doing it. I told you what I'm doing. Thank he, you, he, he, he did what he did. Now I'm going to do what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm, That's I'm just sorry. the way it works with me. I will, I will be there. I'm sorry. And I'm counsel, you know, if somebody had come to me and said, yeah, I accidentally used or I shouldn't have used, I did this, then I'll deal with that. But if you come to me just straight up lying and I'm telling you, I don't believe your story and you continue to lie. And then I got to put you into a breakout room with your attorney. And now you're going to come back and tell me the truth. Really? I'm not. And now you I'm want not, me to do something for you? Eh, no, I'm not don't lying. think so. Honor, I'm done. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm done. Thank you. We okay. Well, what would you guys think of that one? Sorry for the barking dog. We have construction going on next door. Um, yeah, don't lie to Judge Simpson. It's not a good idea. Anyways, Chima Glitch, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.